25,000. Congratulations, Michael. You're going to need it. He's on to the GoFundMe fiasco. As mentioned above, Michael did start an account on the platform. Um, but he was doing so to gather enough funds to fight his court case with proper representation. He revealed he will be up for bookings and making appearances in public events. He again provided the email of his manager for the ones who are interested in making bookings and interacting with him in person. Oh, the plot thickens. And how? Everyone is already aware of the shitstorm that's been caused in the 90 Day Fiance universe all due to Angela and Michael's drama. It's blowing up on their faces. The meme I decided to serve her ex with annulment Nauman papers after he literally ran away from her home and wants to deport him. I mean, everyone remembers how hellbent she was while saying it was her visa and finding more ways to control poor Michael. But it looks like after getting accustomed to his newfound freedom, he is finally fighting back. Michael has released a bunch of statements about the allegations he's been facing these days. What allegations you may wonder? Come on. Not Angela has all the juicy tidbits for you. Welcome back to yet another video. Wait, let's go. Um, let me begin by saying things are finally falling into place for Michael. And most of the 90 Day Fiance fan base seems happy about it. But wait, there have been people, most probably Angela fans, who tried to slander Michael. For instance, um, when his GoFundMe crossed double the goal amount in a few days, there were all sorts of rumors about how he was trying to scam people yet again. After all, Michael had started the account to gather money to fight his court case, but viewers began saying he was using the funds for his personal agenda. Well, Michael finally decided to clear his name by releasing major statements about all the ruckus. Let's dive into it one by one. These hefty statements. Um, Michael straight up accused his ex, the devil's second coming Angela Deem, of tarnishing his character. Why, Dada? Why? why? This is business. This is my sweat. I know, but I did business. Shut up! Shut up! There have been all sorts of rumors about Michael being with and speaking to different women. While he admitted to doing so, in the past, he assured everyone that he had never met someone because of it. Hence, all his interactions were limited to texting. He used the phrase one party was trying to discredit the other, which was just fancy talk about how Mima was still after him and finding ways to prove he was the bad guy. Well, that simply isn't the case, and she's failing miserably with a lack of evidence. Oh my God, did you see Michael Vegas go? What is wrong with the United States of America? I am totally ashamed right now. Who gets a GoFund? We make 25,000 for legal fees when we got people out there that has to go see their sick kid, sick mom, our veterans out there that don't even get 25,000. Wake up America. This is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. That's fun. <laughs> Just crown of thought guys. 25,000, congratulations, Michael. You're gonna need it. On to the GoFundMe fiasco. As mentioned above, Michael did start an account on the platform, um, but he was doing so to gather enough funds to fight his court case with proper representation. Such things indeed require a lot of money. So Michael's goal for the same was $25,000. Surprisingly, fans fulfilled it in just two days and he didn't close the account and it went on to have as much as $50,000. Following this, there were rumors, again, that Michael would definitely use all the money for his personal agenda now, which just added smoke to the fire about the previous scamming allegations. Because believe it or not, Michael also said that there are reports from Hazelhurst, Georgia, suggesting the account was fraudulent. Um, well, you don't have to be a genius to guess who lives there, then Michael revealed how the GoFundMe organization had to do thorough investigations to clear Michael's name once again. They at last confirmed that he was using the funds for the right reasons and not to purchase cars or cover moving costs. But oh goddamn Angela, even after so much, you're still not ready to back down. All the money Michael has gathered is really just to get rid of you. And yet you're finding ways to create obstacles in his journey. Give me a goddamn break. Maybe use this time to put forward a strong argument for your legal separation instead of making your ex more miserable. Um, let me just remind you, all of this would end up biting you back when such acts of yours get exposed in the court.
Do you not think for a second at all? Are you really that driven by anger and wanting to make others suffer? Seriously, what's wrong with you? Um, anyway, so let's take a chill pill and move on. Michael also addressed why he's not been appearing in the media and interviews. Without listing any reason, the star said he just can't be available for such things at the moment. Um, I guess he's waiting for the court case to wrap up where he does so, which is pretty wise if you ask me, but he did express that he would do these things in the future. At the same time, Michael also left an email of his marketing representatives if people wish to contact him for opportunities like these later. Oh, what a way to flex. Looks like Michael is really making good use of his stardom. Sadly, the same can't be said for Angela. At last, Michael did reveal another grim piece of news. I, he has decided to refrain from interacting with his fans online. As much joy as it would give the star, he has figured he should hold that off for a while confirmed uh it was just a temporary measure until the legal proceedings continued last but not least michael did end the post with something exciting he revealed he will be up for bookings and making appearances in public events he again provided the email of his manager for the ones who are interested in making bookings and interacting with him in person well 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 that's exactly why i say she when karma is sweet it's the sweetest possible thing uh, let me just jog al's memories and remind you what a terrible time angela dean was having during her public appearances i mean she was begging people to follow her on instagram as her 90 day fiance storyline had cost her a lot of followers speaking of costs Mima right here was also charging $5 a picture as people came to her for selfies. Now, imagine what she must be going through after seeing how willingly Michael will do his public appearances from now on, surrounded by nothing but support and love. Ha! Take that, you snooty hag! But that's all I have for you guys for today's video. Um, it's just a pleasant feeling to see people who have endured years of abuse and torture finally fighting back and doing it beautifully. We're all proud of you, Michael. Come what may, you got this. Well, it's time for not Angela to take off now, but worry not, I'll keep coming back to you guys with more details from the 90 Day Fiance universe. See y'all.